We are in L12 and I think it's still morning, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so what we've got is, if you follow me, a manhole here that's uh, raised with some toilet waste. So they've got a blockage somewhere between here and this manhole over here. But it might be worth having a look at this access point as well. In fact, we've got two. So I'm going to get these up. And we're gonna um, just because I'm assuming they'll go round to this this one, which is empty, which obviously tells us the blockage is that way, because this one's nice and empty. There's obviously there's some evidence that something's been going on, but I'll go get the other screwdriver and we'll have a look at those little access points. Just uh, don't do a Leo and nearly fall down the hole. I'm gonna see if these access points look empty and um, then i can start with the camera that way just to see if it's in between them okay so i think our blockage is between that way yes so let's uh, let's just open this one okay just for the sake no too small one eternity later. Empty, so we'll put that one back, as you can see, empty there. <laughs> okay, so we'll put that back down for now. Looking at that now, I think we know that there's a bit of toilet paper. Don't know if I'll see much of the camera, but I'm gonna get the camera just to have a little look. Um, a very relatively short run to this manhole. So hopefully we'll see something fairly quickly. But unfortunately the camera doesn't turn on that quickly. So let's see. Okay, let's have a look. Okay. So pretty much straight away. Let's see. Yeah, we're underwater. So. No, it's just. Yeah, okay. I think we'll get the jet for those. Let's see if we can go past that. Well, to be honest, that feels like we've got a problem because we're completely underwater within a, about a foot there. I think we may have some, some kind of drop, but we'll clear the drain first. Okay, let's turn the light off. And then we'll get the jet around here. Right, so turn the engine on now. I'm not walking all that way back. <laughs> Let's just see how tangled we are. Here we go. Don't need a hell of a lot. Yeah, I don't need to, a load. So we're only going to the fence. Now that's fine. Okay. So let's see where we end up now. Have you got the GoPro on? Yeah. Hopefully we get a nice rush. Nice. Yeah, a bit of resistance there. Okay, let's send it through. Let's get rid of that first. Hitting something now. I think something's on its way down. There you go. There we go. Yeah. That GoPro will be catching it all. So let's just draw that back and then we'll go and check the manhole. I think we've got a real issue underneath, either a really poor fall or a slight drop. I think that's all we dare take it with you there. Let's have a look at the next manhole. Oh dear. Okay. As you can see, we've got quite a lot of solid stuff there. So I think we're going to have to get some water on that. Let's do another draw first. Oh, 
One second. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna have to chop that up and buckets of water. Before we do anything else, as you can see, oh yeah, it's quite solid, but I think a little bit of water added to that will do the trick. Where is it? There's the outlet. There. There's the outlet. Okay, I'll come and get the fact there's some water here. May as well utilise it. Yep. Mother Nature provides. A little bit more and then I'll give it a plunge. Get more water. A bit more of a chop up and then I'll get the plunger in. the outlets because we may have to jet from there by the looks of it. Right, where are we? Here we go. Here we go. Yeah, another bucket in that. In fact, we probably see it coming through here. Yeah, so quite solid, isn't it, that stuff? Let's get that chest going. Right, now, you can see the air uh, still seeping, so let's send this back through, we should get a fair glug. Ooh, look at that. It's struggling to get through there now, isn't it? Seems to be a bleeding a pattern, this. Okay, let's get it back through there. Should flow now. I'm sorry. Have a look at the other manhole now. If you have a look down the manhole, it's just a little bit of debris behind it, so we'll squash that down. In fact, just one minute. Where is that? Oh, it's a bit of roots. Looks like roots, that. That's what it looks like, anyway. Okay, let's have a look. Now, we were underwater before. Okay, so as you can see, it looks a bit clearer now. It's like a sunset, that, in the uh, distance, isn't it, on the horizon? See, we're still holding water. See the light. So you've got a poor gradient here. Doesn't seem to be any major drops, see there? It's only a slight movement. I think we've just got a real poor gradient. And here's the manhole now. So yeah, there's no issue other than I think we've got a poor gradient, so we'll, we'll let the customer know about that. So what we'll do now is, we'll uh, it's clean up time. That round there, we'll try and get as much of that toilet waste off the floor as possible and back into the manhole. We'll put everything away, put everything together here and then we'll be on our way. So, let's get the camera out and off. Yeah, so there's a lot of, if you look at that, We've had roots in there from something, but it, it appears that they're dead. So it might have been from this dead, this dead shrub in the corner. 
Right, let's get get what we can down there, not too much soil, and then we'll just have to swill this part because uh, we're going to have trouble getting that in. Back where you belong. I'll have to take them off. Okay. Right, so let's get the bucket on the go now. It's going to take a few buckets just to shift that now. Now, I think we'll get the jet, I'll pull the uh, jet and nozzle through and we'll clear that once it's in full. There's not a lot we can do with this stuff on the soil, we'll just try and break it up a bit. Get a bit of it down. I think another bucket on that should do and then we'll get the jetter around. Put the engine on half throttle there so we can give this a clear out. Right, so let's take the end off. Try not to lose it. Right, just there, uh, careful a sec. Get it flowing again. Okay. Give it a brush. It really does collect here. Get a bit more water down there. See, it just doesn't want to move. So, let's help it on its way. Okay, it's going a bit better now, is it? Yeah. I'll send this a little bit further in. This stuff's full, it's just battling against anything solid that goes in there. Stay careful again. Nice, oh, okay. It's definitely, yeah, uh, there's an issue there. So we've done all we can with this. We just report back to this customer that they've got a really poor gradient between these underneath the extension. Nothing obvious with the camera, um, it's just what it is really. Okay, so on to the next one. Debris obviously falls down there and then you've got to get a jetting team in to come and remove that debris. And we have to dig down, take the shaft completely out to get them clean, it's a, it's a, it's a big job. We've got to dig round, take all the sections off, dig them right back to the pot, clean them out. I'm Nigel at Drainfast. Um, and I'm the R&D director. The Microsoft range includes a couple of different options at the minute, one to cover the 450 chambers and they're aimed to collect the dirt and stop it from getting to the bottom of the chamber and aid easy clearance of 450 chambers and cut down on wasted time and money.